Hi and welcome to Debunk File. My name is Sep and today we are going to be talking about Cheetah Men's Lost Levels. Now before this video starts, make sure to follow our Instagram at Debunk File and our Twitter at TrueGif for extra stuff about this channel. Also make sure to join our Discord, it's the best way to communicate with us. Most importantly, please consider checking out our Patreon Debunk File as it is the best way to support our channel. Now back to the video. The Nintendo Entertainment System is a wild west of gems and flops. You have your classics like Mario and Mega Man, your duds like Fester's Quest and Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout, but nothing comes to mind more than Action 52. When the NES was nearing its end days in 1991, with their brand new console, the Super Nintendo, being out on the market, some NES games were still being made, games like Battletoads and Ninja Gaiden 3. But definitely the most infamous is the previously mentioned Action 52. Now, Action 52 is an unlicensed NES game that came in a very strange clear cartridge, different to the grey Nintendo norms, but the clear casing wasn't the craziest thing about this game. No, 52 games. That's right, on this single game lie 52 other games, including but not limited to Ooze, Sombreros, and Time Warp Tickers, where you play as walking fingers. You can't make this STUFF UP! Who can forget Cheetah Men? Cheetah Men was the star title on Action 52. So much effort and skill went into making this... Masterpiece? No, it sucks. Cheetah Men was completely shoved down everyone's throats when they bought Action 52. There was a comic that accompanied the game, plans for a toy line, and it was even the only game on Action 52 to have cutscenes. But even when it was in the spotlight, a mystery crawls beneath Cheetah Men. A planned sequel for the game was set to come out, Cheetah Men 2, unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you feel about awful games. Set to come out in 1992, the games were lost, collecting dust in an old warehouse until in 1997, 1500 copies were discovered as they made their way to secondhand markets, fetching prices up to $1000. The strangest thing about Cheetah Men 2 is its lost levels, and that's what we're going to try to figure out. Now the levels are accessible, but you have to be extremely lucky. Best put by Angry Video Game Nerd. If a blue moon occurs on Friday the 13th and all the planets align, the game will actually start up on the missing levels. The levels are not finished, they are glitchy and basically unplayable. When the third level boss comes around, after defeating him, you are stuck in limbo, as the game does not progress you to the next levels. There was a patch that was released in 2011 by Greg Pabich, he even put it on a cartridge. So I guess that's it for Cheetah Men. It was a very awful game that was never released, that had a few lost levels. This file is definitely debunked. The levels were really never lost, just extremely hard to find, even when owning the original, but now it has been fixed and the game is complete. Thanks so much for watching, as always make sure to check out our Instagram at debunkfile and our Twitter at truegif. Also make sure to join our Discord, it's the best way to communicate with us and basically just be in the debunk community. Also check out our Patreon, as even viewing it really helps. My name is Sep from Debunk File, thanks again for watching, see you guys next time.